Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Mila B. And today I'm finally announcing the giveaway winner for the 1K giveaway. So y'all stay tuned, that will be in the video. So what I did guys, I went ahead and took off the stones from my last set. I filed off the top coat and then I applied a base coat to my nails. And then I cured my nails for about 60 seconds and then I came in with this black gel color. So this gel polish actually was pretty good. I was able to do my black on one coat. Only recommendation I can say is I ended up having to cure this a little bit longer, which is expected of such a dark color. So I cured it for about two minutes and I applied it to all of my nails. So once I was done applying the black, I came in with the white. I kind of wanted to have like a little cloudy neon effect. So I went ahead and did this white and once it cured, I left it sticky. And then that's when I applied my pigment powders. I will put everything in the description box just in case. The majority of the stuff came from Amazon and I will definitely make sure I put that in there for you guys. Now, if you watched my channel before, you'll know that the last time I used these pigment powders, it was an absolute disaster. So this time I was so nervous, I was applying it ever so carefully with a eyeshadow brush. And I think the application went much smoother. But I'm still not sure what to do after this to keep my pigment secure so if you guys have any tips let me know because in this video i just went over it with clear acrylic because i really didn't know what would happen because last time i tried to use a top coat is smeared everywhere and it was just a hot mess so please if you've tried this let me know what works for you So a moment of thanks to all of you who helped me get 1K. Finally, I'm announcing the giveaway winner and congratulations to underscore nailed her underscore. You are the giveaway winner. So go ahead and make sure that you contact me through Instagram, DM me and send me your mailing address and everything. And I'm going to ship you out your hands, your practice hands ASAP. So thank y'all so much for helping me get to 1K. If you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will really appreciate it. So I decided to encapsulate these nails with clear acrylic because like I said earlier, I was a little nervous. I didn't know what was gonna happen with the top coat again. Now the clear acrylic, I didn't get as sloppy as I did with the top coat but it did start to kind of fade it out some it kind of gave it more of that marbled effect which I really don't mind I just wish it was a little bit more intense like it was initially but like I said before if y'all have any tips please let me know and I am using the no odor monomer so that's why my nails are like super wet it takes a while to dry but once they dry you file off that little oily tacky layer and then it's the same effect you would have as if you use regular monomer So I decided I was going to add a little message on my nails. I'm just trying to step out of my comfort zone. So I applied a top coat. I cured it for 60 seconds. And then I came in with these two colors, white and gel nails. And I was like, look, the debate just ended. Y'all go vote. Okay. So that's the moral of the story. I will make sure that I put in the description box um, where you can register, how you need to register, 
where you can go vote, all that details, everything you need to know. If you just turn 18, go register today, okay? And shout out to my friend Anna, because she was the one who told me, go put that on your nails, girl. Go put that go vote. So y'all make sure that y'all go vote. Make a difference. Y'all vote like your life depend on it. And thank y'all for watching. I hope that you had guys enjoy my video. Comment, subscribe, share, all of that. And I will see you guys on my next video. Mila B, out.